of our union is strong because our people are strong. In his first State of the Union address, President Trump talking about unity as he laid out his plan for the coming years. According to a new CBS poll, three out of four Americans who watched approved of the speech, which of course is juxtaposed against his record low approval rating, so that's something. And just a note, as it is often the case for the State of the Union, people who watch are more likely to identify with the president's party. I'm joined here tonight on the couch by Amelia Irvine. She's a student at Georgetown University and a Young Voices advocate. And Rashad Gaines is the immediate past chairman of the Black Caucus of the Young Democrats of America. So the president's address still trending today. Anything in the address take either of you by surprise? Amelia, we'll start with you. Sure, so I think that going into the State of the Union address, Trump's expectations were rather low, but I think that what surprised me was how many big government proposals were in his address. I saw a lot of olive branches, but to be honest, not a lot of compromises that he wanted to get in return. And not, not a lot of specificity either. Yeah, I think President Trump has a, he loves to talk and he loves to having the camera on him. But what he doesn't love is giving full context. And I think with a lot of the proposals and a lot of the action items that he named, there were a lot of have truths, um, or if they were even true, the, the context that the American people needed wasn't completely there. But a lot of the broad strokes, not necessarily talking to Republican talking points or Democratic talking points. I mean, couldn't everyone of every party get behind uh, a, a DACA proposal, infrastructure? Uh, these are things that, re that resonate with everybody, correct? But, but also context, like context is a key factor here. Um, and again, the folks at home, the folks that were listening and watching, they don't live in D.C. They don't have interns and lawyers at their disposal to do research for them. They're not going to have the tools that everybody in D.C. has to get the facts. Um, and so when he speaks to the American people, we need him to give the full context of those conversations. So this wasn't necessarily a Republican speech as much as it was a Donald Trump speech. So is this something that, that could push buttons of some of his core supporters? I think exactly that's what's going to happen. And you saw it today with Ted Cruz saying that he would not support any sort of immigration deal that gave amnesty to anyone who's come to the country without documents. And I think that this is going to put a lot of people's buttons because Trump was not elected by a lot of um, these proposals that he's putting forth now. He's elected on things like build the wall. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. True or false, we're going to have a DACA deal in seven days when we're scheduled to have another government <laughs> shutdown. False. <laughs> I think that there could be a deal, but I think that it's going to be all DACA and almost no border security. I don't think that the Republicans are going to win this one. Now, listen, something